Uh huh. So you have been very, very isolated. You've got that four of swords over there. So very, very alone, feeling very, very unsupported. And, you know, almost as though you're living in a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little cave or a little shell over there. And she's got this glass jar over her and she's very isolated from the world. And maybe you've retreated, uh, you've deliberately done that so that you can recover from any kind of problems you had. So you might have had gone through a very, very difficult period and you have retreated and you are working by yourself, but you're also feeling very isolated, unsupported, uh, and you're trying to recover from whatever problem you went through. So the Four of Swords usually is after the Three of Swords and the Three of Swords, you know, is usually dealing with difficult people, having communication problems with them and going through a very, very hard time, having gone through betrayal and people letting you down so you are um, you know keeping to yourself really even in your work situation you're keeping to yourself and not really communicating that much with other people you're getting on with your job but you are starting to feel very isolated and alone now the uh, um, what's going on with you you've got this queen of pentacles and this is your card so success coming in for you definitely coming in for you money coming in so that you can be able to treat yourself really but this is also a success that could also bring in lots of travel or, or a lot of travel coming in with your work as well but definitely money coming in with this uh, queen of pentacles card and there's a new beginning as well so you might be starting a brand new cycle a brand new job and uh, you know a lot of success is going to be coming in with that now, in the past, you've been dealing with people that were really nasty. They belittled you. They made you feel small and, in, you know, um, as though uh, nothing you did was worth it. And you also have been getting a lot of criticism with this nine of swords of year. And it's caused a lot of anxiety and it's affected your self-confidence. Now, in this past few months, you've got this king of uh, um pentacles over here. So you might be uh, being offered a promotion or you might be... Um, you even might be going on and asking for some financial assistance from this person who is the uh, King of Pentacles. The, it's usually a banker or getting some kind of financial assistance coming in. This could also you, be you getting a promotion where money is coming in for you. So getting a leadership position where uh, you know new money is coming in for you and you're getting a lot more authority. And uh, you know, you're taking charge of that situation. So it looks like things are about to change for you. Now you've got this Emperor card over here. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a, um, um, Aries person. So this is that energy of Mars over here. But it's also you trying to take control back of that situation, take, trying to take your authority back, trying to establish yourself as well, and uh, you know taking leadership. So you're trying to organize your finances, trying to get yourself sorted as well. So like I said, you could be dealing with that Aries or Scorpio person who's causing a little bit of uh, issues, but this is also you trying to get control back of that situation. It seems like, you know, you were very disempowered in this particular position where they made you feel really small, but it looks like, you know, you're getting back that authority. And once this has come in and that new money is coming in, this person's uh, cupboards are full of money. It looks like, you know, there, there is some kind of financial reward coming in for you. It's going to open the door for you to, um, to take back your authority. And it looks like success is coming in and you're starting on this new journey or this new position as well. So there might be some travel coming in for you and you might be relocating. So you might be moving to actually do that job. This is the Knight of Rods, which says changing home or really re relocating to actually start this particular job in a new place. Now you've got uh, the uh, page uh, of uh, cups of here. So there's a new offer that is coming in for you. And this could be a really good offer. So unexpectedly, somebody's going to, an opportunity is going to be knocking at your door and an offer is going to be presented to you soon. And this offer might involve that you travel as well. So, uh, What's going on around you? You are having problems with people around you. You can see these these two fists uh, against each other over there. So there might be somebody that is uh, in opposition to whatever you're doing and you're having to uh, deal with this person. There's some kind of power struggle going on. And, uh, you know, they may be preventing you from moving forward as well in life. Um, so preventing career advancement as well. So you're dealing with this kind of person as well. And, you know, they, they have a lot to say because this is the two of swords. So they have very harsh words and you have to make a decision on how to actually deal with this particular situation. There seems to be some advice that you need to, to take, but there also might be some legal uh, issues that you have to deal with as well with this hierophant, and this is representing legalities in this particular deck. Now, this is a two of swords, so this could be also legal problems that you're dealing with. The swords always deals with legalities or official um, kind of um, 
um, situations. So there could be some kind of case that you're fighting and you're trying to win and you need to go and get some advice for that. Now, all in all, things are starting to, to look up. It seems you've got that strength card over there and that's you taking control of that situation. You're going to have to use a lot of charm and diplomacy to sort this particular problem out. You've got this eight of cups of years, so that's walking away from difficult situations, but it also looks like uh, luck is coming uh, your way. So fate is changing things and luck is coming your way. So uh, you've got the world card of here. So this is the end of difficulties and also closure to situations. And it also is the end of that old um, job that you might be doing and you're going to be moving on. So you're ending that old cycle of difficulties, ending that cycle of work because the world card is ruled by Saturn. So maybe that's an end to that job with a little bit of a payout as well. And you are going to be moving on to something new. So whatever brand new. So the world ends this read but the fool begins it. So it looks like there's a brand new beginning and it looks like success is going to be coming your way. So you're starting a new cycle that might involve a lot of um, travel, but it looks like opportunity is going to be knocking at your door rather than you going and looking for it. Um, so I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot for the um, Oracle read. And the first card is um, you've got the Eight of Spring, which says... Um, stress that comes from having many things happening at once, successful manifest manifestation and sudden, sudden events or changes. Now, the Eight of Spring is the Eight of Rods, so things are going to start moving really quickly for you, some news coming in for you. You're going to be able to deal with... Um, Whatever is coming, you need to adapt to the circumstance as well. But news is coming in pretty quickly. And it looks like there's some movement coming in. Now, this could stress you out because there's a, going to be a lot of things happening at the same time. Uh, a lot of movement going on. A lot of energies flying about. So, you know, be sure to de-stress uh, uh, when all this starts uh, moving on or things start, uh, the change starts coming. So things are on the move now. You've got the King of Winter over here, so get advice from someone professional or objective, public speaking, unemotional relationships. So the King of Winter is like some kind of legal decision that you're waiting for. I spoke about this uh, Duralex, uh, Sedlex, uh, Hierophant card over here. Um, the law is harsh, but it is the law. And the King of Winter is about legal matters, so you are dealing with legal matters or waiting for legal decisions to come through as well. And you've got the Ace of Autumn, so windfall of money. So whatever that legal decision is, it looks like it's going to bring in some money because there's a windfall of money, advice or assistance coming in, a very successful payout and also a happy change in your career. So it looks like there's money that is coming in for you and it looks like this uh, legal um, uh, event that you're, or legal case that you're sorting out is going to bring you some kind of, it's going to go in your favor and there's going to be some kind of payout that comes out with it, comes with it. Um, so um, this is also the beginning of a new job, a new cycle. So you've got that fool over there uh, coming in, uh, starting brand new beginnings. But you've got that Ace of Autumn, which is the Ace of Pentacles, that is saying that there's a new job coming in, a new offer coming in for you, and brand new beginnings. So the world cycle ends all that has gone before you, all the difficulties that you went through. You've le learned your lessons, uh, and it looks like now you're going to be starting something brand new that's going to generate a lot of finances and there might be some travel involved as well so this looks like it's going to be uh, all in all a, a good turnout for you and um, uh, I hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it's if it's really um, resonated with you and happy birthday Taurus for the end of April and uh, for May and I hope things go your way thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye